knows to love and to need love are two different things to love is one thing and to need or demand love are two different things love is the seed of awakening seed of enlightenment love has to blossom deep within you and when it's flowering the ultimate in the flowering of love is enlightenment certainly enlightenment is like excavating diamond from the inner cave of the being the diamond that has been explored is raw unpolished polishing that raw diamond giving it a shape luster grace meaningful experience for self and taste and inspiration for others to begin their own inner process of exploration is life beyond enlightenment but for that first you have to be enlightened and even before that you have to allow the love to blossom into you your minute observations thereafter simple acts ordinary words easily understandable explanations moment to moment art of relating and interacting with objects and beings full of awareness all form the part of teaching know this as the way of transformation no this is the way transformation can and does happen if you have chosen that path the path that leads to inner flowering of love and then as enlightenment then fertilize the inner soil so that seed of love is planted one day and its journey of growth begins therefore fill your life with love but you will say we always love but i tell you you rarely love there is no taste of love in life you might be longing for love but there is a vast difference between the two to love and to need love and demand love are different things most of us remain like children all our lives because everyone is looking for love to love is a very mysterious thing to love is the way of sharing who can share love only one in whom love has blossomed on the other hand to long for love is very childish the small children want love when the mother gives children love they grow they want love from others as well this is human nature and the family loves them and then when they grow older if they are husbands they want love from wives if they are wives they are love they want love from their husbands and whosoever wants love suffers because love cannot be asked for love can only be given in wanting there is no certainty that you will get you will get love and if the person 
from whom you expect love also expects love from you, then it is a problem. Then it is a problem. It will be like two beggars meeting and begging each other begging together from each other all over the world there are marital problems between husbands and wives and the only reason for this is that both expect love from the other but are unable to give love on their own Husband and wife both demands love from each other, but they do not think that love grows by sharing. Think about this a little. Why you constantly need love? You want someone to love you, and if someone loves you, you feel good. But you don't know but you don't know, but what you don't know is that other loves you only because he wants you to love him. It is like someone is throwing bait to fish. He does not throw the bait for fish to eat. Instead, he throws the bait to catch the fish. So when someone loves you, it is like throwing a bait so that he can control you. He does not want to give it to the fish. He only does this because he wants the fish. This is what we see all around. All the people that you see in love around you. All the people that you see around you are only throwing bait to get love from the other. They will throw the bait for a while until the other person starts feeling that there is a possibility of getting love from this person in return. Then he too will start showing some love until eventually he realizes that both of them are beggars. When you love your husband or show or your husband shows love towards you, it is like in great expectation a bait is thrown at you, it is better. Sooner you learn, here everybody is a beggar of love. Husband seeks love from wives. Wife seeks, wife is seeking love from her husband. The fundamental mistake is, each thought the other was an emperor of love. Other has love, that's why you are looking forward to get love from that person and in times each realizes that he is not getting any love from that person and that is when friction starts, misery starts, breakup starts. So before that situation comes in, love has to come out of the soil of lust. Husband and wife enter into relationship with one another because of the physical needs. As long as there is enough physical need, or the way of operation, love should evolve from there and it starts growing on its own. 
but it does not happen. No sooner one realizes that what I expected out of this relation to happen has not happened. Conflict, disturbance, frictions start. And this is the saga of each one of you. Remember, to love is one thing and to demand love is another. First, you need love and that for that matter everybody needs love. When you need love, the children, the husband, the wife, everything needs love. Even the sentient and insentient things, they need love. So they demand. They look at you with the eyes full of demand for love. Cats, dogs, the pets, husbands, wife, children, they are looking at you to get love in various forms. Children are standing, waiting for a hug, demanding, but they are not saying, but they are looking at you to get a hug. Husbands, wives, everyone, to love and need love, then demand love are different things. You have to be aware of it. When love blossoms, another journey begins. Cannot for love.